Ah, what a good day to be out bird watching in my studio. <gasps> Wait a second, what is that? Wow, what a specimen. Chirp, chirp, I am the Twitter bird. I am about to deliver some hot takes that no one likes. <laughs> Oh gee, well that is just awful. My bird watching days are over. I am deeply traumatized. Good evening, Laris, Lassus, and Lassos. Welcome to the Click Retired Bird Watcher. What are we gonna do today? Well, I figured we would go back through my historical files from being a professional bird watcher, which is actually not true, and look at some of the beautiful things I captured while bird watching. Welcome to what is this video called? Horrible tweets. Tweets gone array. Something like that. <laughs> it is not good. Enjoy. See, if you don't like bad hot takes and crappy tweets, this video- uh, Enjoy! And everything else in your life is gonna look amazing compared to this. One can dream. I love you. Him 14, me 20 times! You know when a tweet has more quote tweets than likes? You know it's a little bit of a controversial opinion. I'm just gonna pretend these are this is like a wholesome sibling thing. Moving on. You think it's funny to take screenshots of people's NFTs, huh? Property theft is a joke to you? I'll have you know that a blockchain doesn't lie. I own it. Even if you save it, it's my property. You are mad that you don't own the art I own. Delete that screenshot. Have you ever figured that it's kind of ironic that everyone that always says like, ha, you mad on the internet are like the maddest people who always goes on weird rants? Yes? NFT. More like, no fucking thanks. Moving on. That was kind of good. I came up with that in the moment. God, I'm proud of myself. Still got it. Bros helping bros. My son had three major heart surgeries only at five months old. I didn't want him feeling alone and growing up with a scar, so I went and got a tattoo of one. That is so sweet. Oh my god, this is like dad-son goals. This is amazing. <laughs> that is just toxic masculinity at its best. <laughs> toxic masculinity is when a dad supports his son. Yes, indeed. I am an amazing contribution to society. Woo! This year marks 21 years since Britney Spears built the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, no, she didn't. She just took a picture in front of it. Y'all love discrediting women. Stop your misogyny. <laughs> I take it all back, Twitter. You still got it, baby bird. Who remembers eating these? Look at them peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I actually never had them because I'm not Murka. But let's see what the replies have to offer the world, shall we? To be honest, this is really insensitive. People have peanut allergies and gluten intolerances. And you're out here acting like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are a universal experience. This is the problem of the day. This is the hill, <laughs> the sticky... <laughs> Jam encrusted hill that I choose to die on. Some people have allergies, so other people can't have sandwiches. Well, G Twitter, you have saved the world once again. Anonymous, favorite movie lines. Patrick, it's you. <laughs> You're the American psycho? He he didn't say that. <laughs> it's like when he tried too hard to cram the movie's name into a line. I don't think anyone in the movie ever referred to it as like, oh, it's the American Psycho going around. Ooh, it's, it's, they don't even talk about it. You could do anything on 2007, 2012 Twitter. I showed people how to cook crack in the microwave <laughs> and nothing happened. Now I can't even call a bish fat. I mean, I mean, I think it's a good thing. I think a lot of us think back on the golden era of the internet before everything started feeling so manufactured and corporate and all that kind of stuff. But the coin definitely had two sides. Like on one hand, it was very new. It was kind of genuine in a way and was kind of cutesy. On the other hand, it was a complete wild west and like the content you could accidentally see as a child was like, darn, that's some traumatizing stuff. So for better or worse, I suppose. Tomorrow, International Men's Day, 19th of November. Holy crap, there are a ton of people mad at the dads in the replies. Why do all of them have an OnlyFans? Oh, oh my god. But isn't this the case, though? Isn't this the case? Like, not to rack down on people that do that kind of business stuff. If you find it empowering and it works for you, all the power to you. Get that bag. Oh, yes, indeed. But so much of Twitter. And, like, I've seen it on Tinder as well. When I've had my friends show me Tinders, like, the amount of profiles that are basically just ads for OnlyFans accounts. It, it absolutely mind-boggling. And then you have, like, uh, Marky Plower's OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Ah, good stuff. Dudes posting their Ws. My grandpa is 104 today. He survived the Spanish flu, World War II, and the COVID pandemic. Look at that boy. Darn. He look like he racist. I hope he die. Oh, yes, indeed. Nothing screams chronically online Twitter. Quite like judging someone's entire character on one photo and wishing death upon them. 
<laughs> oh, Twitter, you have shown your true values again. Always be proud of who you are. My BF is 11 and I'm 17. But it's okay because love is love, age is just a number. And, and jail is just a place, I guess. Hmm? You know, funny how that goes. You got the flag of the German Empire in your name. Are you joking? A oh, freaking look at it. <laughs> it's the flag of Egypt. My country. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like they don't even cite the source or anything. Yes, that, that flag is bad for some reason. Just just look at it. Do you need it? Just look. Look there. Source. Just look at it, bro. <laughs> Twitter, what are you doing, man? This reminds me of that time when, like, the Italian flag was trending and people was asking which pride flag it was. <laughs> it's like the same kind of vibe. <laughs> Change your Twitter name is offensive. That is literally my name. Perhaps consider legally changing your name. Your name is Heartfall. No thanks. It means lover in my own language. So consider shutting the heck up. So the name in question in this conversation is N-E-G-A-R. Okay. Well, that's not even close to something that would be deemed offensive. And it's a name in a different language. Come on now. Come on now. Besides Donkey Kong, does Smash Bros. really have any black characters? What are you talking? What do you- What do you mean? Brawlhalla has tons of black representation. Stay woke, y'all. Besides who? Who wrote this? Who wrote this? And the best part is that this entire post <laughs> is intended to be like inclusive and anti-racist and oh my god, look at the representation. And then you write this. Who who let this through review? Who let this through? This was reviewed by like editors and social media managers and no, it was, yeah, this is fine. It's This is so good. This is so good. Wow. Hashtag woke. The king of football has left us, but his legacy will never be forgotten. Rep King. Ah, you're next. Aw, oh, gee, thanks, Twitter. When you're 13, you want to be 15. Trust me, though, when you're 15, you want to be 13. Nah, I'm 15. I want to be 18 so I could start doing what I love and go to New York and live my acting dreams. I am 18, and I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, gee, that's great. Are you, are, are you guys really having, like, age crisis at 15? Oh, my God, I'm, like, 15. I am so old and wrinkly. I remember when I was 13 and I was still hip and young. I swear to God, this is what happens when you let, like, nine-year-olds have have online accounts because they have like midlife crisis at 15. This is this is not good. Like Jesus, it makes me feel like I'm ancient. New no, Japan is set to finally raise the age of consent from 13 to 16. So, sounds like a reasonable thing, yeah. This effing country can't even have their own effing culture anymore. It's really sad. Like why do you change age of consent to be more like you would say the country had literally sent the nukes to you? The amount of leaps between subjects and logic is quite impressive. Wow, that is very high agility there. I am, well, impressed implies some sort of positivity, but more impressed in the negative manner, like flabbergasted or shocked or nauseous, maybe. <sighs> I want a GF, man. I'm pushing 30, never had one. Chase that money and dream, man. A girl will come along eventually. With all due respect, I'm not trying to be like you, bro. <laughs> That's like the best thing ever to say to someone that's showing off, but at the same time, kind of like being patronizing. But fam, I don't, who, who wants to be like you? God. This sounds like it comes from like crypto NFT grind set bro on Twitter. That's amazing. Normalize dating naughty workers. Normalize dating naughty workers. And it keeps going on for quite a while. Normalize this. Normalize that bro. Normalize shutting the freak up limbo. Oh my God, Twitter. Twitter, it's, it's so nice sometimes to not, like, converse in Twitter conversations yourself, but just observe it. You know, it's kind of entertaining sometimes. I swear I could make, like, a reality show where people argue. You know those, like, reality shows where you lock a bunch of people in a house and you see them argue and there's a lot of drama? Oh my god, who kissed who? And I'm so upset with Brad. You know, those kind of shows? We could do that, but, like, based on Twitter posts. I think that would be amazing. The content just writes itself. It's beautiful. It's a new day in America. Joe Biden is not my president. Are you a Trump supporter? No, I am from India. <laughs> this this is such a baity post. I swear to God. Not to the fire is the most aesthetically pleasing visually I've ever seen. Je vais cramer ta mère on va voir si c'est stick. I nailed that one. Let's see what it says in English. I am going to burn your mother. We'll see if it's aesthetic. Oh. Oh, well, well, yeah, okay. I feel like the aesthetic crowd kind of goes a bit banana sometimes. I've seen literal photos of, like, war zones, and someone is commenting and retweeting it like, Oh my god, this is such an aesthetic. Like, no, 
It's not. It's horrible. Nicki Minaj as Among Us characters. Uh, a thread. <laughs> what is Drive Los Angeles, California. This is you. It's been seven minutes and y'all already got my address. You yeah, docs for this. What is going on? Holy shit. Twitter got the prettiest prostitutes I've ever seen. C companions slash escorts, but thanks. Not the <laughs> pronouns. I feel like this is that kind of thing that I shouldn't laugh about. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Twitter, no. Our math teacher is a freaking Nazi? Oh my god! <laughs> the swastika symbol isn't a Nazi symbol. It is derived from Buddhist symbolism. You should just ask. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. You see, like, that little kind of flag up there with the swastikas and, you know, the iron crosses and the theme around it and stuff that was very typical for, for like, uh, for, for that time in Europe? That was kind of bad. Yeah, Buddhism. A father designs a headstone for his wheelchair-bound son, depicting him free of his earthly burdens. That is so sweet. It's so tragic, but it's such a cool symbol. Oh my god, I hope the family's doing well. As an atheist, this makes me cringe unbearably hard. This is if you crossbred atheist Reddit with like a literal fedora. I'm not sure how the gene splicing would work in that case, but I think we have a pretty accurate answer here in this post. Tax the rich! Legalize marijuana! What's Fortnite? <laughs> oh, Twitter, the contrast of discussion. The fact is, women cheat more than men. That's not true. It's ironic coming from you, because I know your GF. Wait. What? Are you. What? Either this is an account from someone who, like, has their friends and stuff on Twitter in that way, and they just happen to know each other, or the odds of this happening are incredible. I am mad! Uh, here's a solution. I don't want a solution, I want to be mad. <laughs> oh my god. I feel this in my spine, and it's not a good feeling. Rest in peace, Anne Heche. Why was you playing people of color? Oh god, I to... <sighs> Someone... So... Someone died, okay? Someone... Twitter, someone... This is not... Mmm. Mmm. Guys, the way he asks is so polite and adorable, I'm gonna cry. Not this shite again! Not this... Oh, God! He's adorable! I'm crying! I'm not him! <laughs> That's what I imagine this sounds like. It's just like a, a, a unearthly screeching coming from like a weird pit of darkness that no one wants to go close to. Imagine if men had to breastfeed babies using their private organ. <laughs> This tweet has been deleted. It wouldn't be called breastfeeding though, would it? Would it? I think I read a theory about this. That like the stuff that women produce out of bobas comes from the male splooshies and then it wanders and processes through the body and voila voila bing bada boom nutrients for the baby. So so with that logic, it's cutting out the middleman. But but I don't think that's how biomelology works. I'm very sure about that. It is never okay for men to give CPR to an unconscious woman. Resuscitation is just a fancy word for the R word. Men are now afraid to give women CPR in case they're accused of assault. Well, this sounds like a very Twitter-esque statement, doesn't it? I mean, I am not a whammon, trademark, but I would assume that this does not speak for the majority of women. I'm just gonna put it out there. If you're, if you're laying on the ground, I've just been fished out out of the ocean. I think the concern is like, oh gee, I hope someone starts my heckin' heart again. Not that, oh, uh, uh, touchy stuff. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are probably some kind of horrible people in the world that would take advantage of a situation, but but I don't I don't I don't think like the solution here is to like tell people that they should never do CPR on people. That that's pretty bad, yo. Ah, shame I can't afford a PS5. I <laughs> got a job. I live in Lebanon, idiot. <laughs> get a Lebanese job, Jesus Christ. Ah, Twitter. Mm, Twitter. I have never felt this mentally well in my whole life. Ugh, what a freaking time to post this. Uh, why? Are you willfully ignorant of the Supreme Court dismantling our freedoms? Or are you conservative or just stupid? Huh? I just imagined this taking place in real life. Like, something happens on the news that is bad, and if it is bad, we should obviously try to do something about it, right? I think everyone can agree on that, but <laughs> you just see some random person walking down the street, just la 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 la, I'm having a good day, it's sunshine, I woke up on the right side, how dare you be happy? Didn't you see the news? Ah! I've always felt there is a bit of a difference between like good active activism where we change things and that kind of stuff and like just being anxious about things 
for no reason. Like, sometimes things make you anxious, but you're not, like, morally better just because you sit in silence in your bedroom and feel bad instead of feeling good if it doesn't lead to any kind of action. It's like, it's, it's not, like, being miserable doesn't do anything unless it inspires you to do something. You, you kind of understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, would you? I would not. Sorry. <laughs> I do not care. But, but you asked. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of lighthearted banter, though I kind of- this, this guy can get behind social media. You get an okay pass on lighthearted banter. At Leafy, Per Dipo is a freaking racist. Uh, this you? Thank you, my n-word. No? <laughs> I remember that whole thing. Wasn't it something that Leafy and Too Mad were concocting? Some kind of weird stunt for Twitter? I remember vaguely, it was a couple years ago. Time flies so fast, man. Actual Playground, 1912. Back then, the adults weeded out the weaker kids who didn't show World War winning ability. Why is it so tall? Noticed a kid falling to his death in the left side. Oh yeah, there's someone in the back there is just kind of falling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is this real? Is this, is this actually how they built things back then? This is so freaking tall. This is insane. I'm eight years old today. Eight-year-old and still can't spell. This is why America needs an education reform. And me, a cat. <laughs> Darn cats can't spell their grammaticals. Oh, this is outrageous. This is why America is failing. Me and my wife are expecting our first child in two months, and we still don't have a name. Lol. You should name him Jack. Oh, Jack Ingoff. Oh, I see what you did there, okay. No, they actually did it! Introducing Hela and its firstborn child, Jack Ingoff. <laughs> Why did you take your name advice from Twitter? No, please. I would love to see the face of the teacher, though, the first time they call out names in class, but st <laughs> still, please. Alvin and the Femboys. Well, that's a little bit of a twist if I've ever seen one. My personal stuff shot up when I saw this bruh. <coughs> NFT son or astrology daughter? Oh, this is hard AF. Um, child neglect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me choose. God. Okay, though, but let's be honest here for a sec. If I had to pick NFT son or astrology daughter, like NFTs are really annoying and obnoxious, and they can also make you fall for like really scammy pump and dump schemes and just make you lose all your savings. Astrology is annoying and obnoxious, but it doesn't make you lose all your savings. I think, at least not what I've heard of. So I would probably go for the astrology, even though it's annoying and weird. It's like it's at least less harmful. I th I think I think that's that's the correct uh, road here. Yeah, doing force naughties and substances to men is a good thing according to Twitter. Men cannot be arrogant because they have privilege. That is an absolutely disgusting take. You should be so ashamed of yourself. You should be in the shame corner and you should never get out of the shame corner. Permanent shame corner. Jesus Christ. How do you sleep at night? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, or 18. Look at all them positions. I'm 18 and my girlfriend is 11. Oh, like the sleeping position. So you're an 18 with the pillow, and she's just laying there. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's that's not that... Mm-hmm. Mm yes. Why Mafia isn't an effing aesthetic? A thread. I cook at the pizza. <laughs> Go F yourself, for real. I can't with these people anymore. I hate you all from the bottom of my heart. Ignorant sacks of poo. I cook at the meat, but I pass the linguine. It's a me, Mario. And here's a lot of, like, receipts and images and horrible stuff. Uh, Mamma mia! <laughs> is it, this is... This is... <laughs> oh, Twitter discourse, la la la. <laughs> I can't with this video, man. This recording was such an absolute mistake. It's such, such a mistake. But I'm hoping, you watching there at home, if you have any mistakes, you're feeling bad about recently, or you know, the kind of things that keep you up at 3 a.m., I'm hoping this video makes any mistake you have made in your life pale in comparison to this absolute cesspool we're currently scrolling through. Ah, <sighs> I hope it made you a great service. One has to go! Country music or racism, and we, as a united nation that is progressive, voted for country music. <laughs> you know, there, there is a priority of issues, man. There is a priority of issues. I always learn English words from your replies and memes. Be careful. Uh, booba feeding. Is this a bot?
Is this how we're training our AI? You know, we usually say that, oh, yay, the next step of evolution is going to be AI and it's going to iterate itself and it's like all the kind of stuff that comes with it. But this is how we train it. It's going to be like edgy 12-year-olds back in the Call of Duty days, but like worse. God. I mean, these AIs are basically going to be so powerful. They're going to be like crap-talking 12-year-olds in Call of Duty, but they like make up new slurs as they go. It's going to be amazing. Lol, <laughs> you have never been with a pretty girl ever. Could be said about any dude who was ever with you. Uh, why are you so full of hate for people you don't even know? Oh, yes, indeed. You see, this is a math problem. Freaking around and finding out and you're somewhere up here. I'm gonna be honest. If you go around be hateful and nasty to people and they be hateful and nasty back and clap back at it, that's not them, like, initiating a horrible action against you. You started this. If you can't handle a few smooches, don't step into the casting couch. Can we please talk about the way Quackity shows his reaction through expressions? When he's impressed or happy, you can see it in his face. Look at this. You know what? You know, like humans smile and stuff? Yeah. Heck yeah. I wonder if this is actually how it was intended, <laughs> the way it reads. Why do you like this human? Ah, they smile sometimes. <laughs> That's like, damn. Damn, the standard is low. I feel good about that, though. Dumplings and Noodles by Pippa. Here's this thing. Why did a white woman write a cookbook about dumplings and noodles? Well, I remember this. This was like an entire crap storm on social media a while ago. Absolutely astounding. I think, I think people are way too worked up about things that don't matter at all. Anne Frank is a perfect example of white privilege. Hmm. That's, that's your starting line, is it? Your, your IQ take that's gonna blow away the world? That's, that's how you initiate it? All right. How many of the black victims of the Holocaust got entire diaries written about them? The Holocaust had many victims who were BIPOCs but never hear about them. White folks whitewash history every single time. This is your takeaway. Th this. This right here. Wow. And that first line. That is just astounding. That's mm, great. Yeah. I'm not sure if I agree with you with the definition of the word, but... All right. <laughs> $105 for a basic gamer hoodie. Some y'all need help. Uh, pocket change for a guy like me. You stole a keyboard from your school because you couldn't afford one. Act broke to stay rich. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I mean, that's a strat, I suppose. If you always act super broke, maybe your friends will always buy the round of beer or pay for the dinner or something. <laughs> NFT bros taking W's. It's taking way too long. <sighs> Any day now. Out of all the gimmick accounts I've seen in my days, I think this one takes some kind of win cake. This is amazing. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a gimmick account that's like gimmick accounts taking W's and that's where this comes from. <laughs> Girl! I had a huge crush on her as a 10 year old. Uh, w when I was 10, I mean. Not, not when she was 10! Ah! What did we Afghans ever do to you Americans that we deserve to be bombed for 20 years? Ah, just a little thing called Pearl Harbor. Maybe you heard of it. Why do you? Wake up in the morning, log into your social medias, and decide to say such things with such amazing confidence. Hmm? Same shirt, totally different man. Never doubt yourself. That is impressive. All the power to you. That is amazing. So no one is going to bring up the very obvious fat phobia here? Oh no, not this, not this again. But the thing with social media is that you have very unrealistic standards. Anyone who works with this kind of stuff will, will tell you that as well. It's no secret, and spending too much time on social media can give you a very skewed image. And there's also like a survival bias, so to say, of influencers, you know? Because most pictures that you see shared on social media or Instagram or whatever isn't made by like your everyday person. You know, it's people that are very, very working hard to look a certain way or act a certain way. And a lot of the photos are also edited or very specific angles and very specific lightning and that kind of stuff and shading. It's it's like it's not what you would look like on a typical day. But at the same time, working on yourself and improving yourself and making a change in your life doesn't mean that you're racking down on someone else. You're just working to improve yourself. So, I don't know. Social media is weird. There's also this weird trend with the algorithm nowadays where it kind of rage baits people. It pushes the things that get the most engagement to the top, even if it's like wildly outrageous or just straight up bad. So there are many aspects about social media and health that are severely skewed. But I don't think this is one of them. This is not one of them. This is just a dude that's proud of his improvement in life and uh, he should be able to be happy without that being taken as an insult to someone else. Trigger warning slash POC. That 
That doesn't sound good. I came on Twitter today to announce that my transition to a black woman has been completed and I couldn't be more happier hearts. I always felt black and I didn't belong with the whites hashtag transracial. Please refer to me as Sanquia. And there's the before picture and there's the after picture. What on earth? Is that just drawn on in paint or something? That looks so strange. What has happened here? This is so weird. Why? <laughs> don't even know how to process social media anymore. It was so much simpler back when I first got social media back in like, I don't know, 2005 or something like that. And it was like some friends posting a couple of cringy pics and like, oh, look at the sunset. Yay, three likes. It's like simple times. What happened? Your president is building concentration camps. Good, bruh. Them nebros need to focus. <laughs> That's not... That's not what it means. I remember seeing a sign or an ad about something like this that was like uh, therapy and study sessions for people with ADHD. It, it's a concentration camp so they can focus. It's like, oh my, it's like, it's a good wholesome thing. But Jesus, could you have picked any other name? Like any other, please? When I am mad, I chew on this photo of Demi Lovato. <laughs> you know, usually you say that you can tape up a photo of someone you hate on like a sandbag and go go ham. But <laughs> I've never heard of someone chewing a photo of someone. The sluttiest thing a man can do is have any piercings anywhere. The sluttiest thing a woman can do is to have their shoulders out. Okay, bye, bish. You're getting blocked. I'm done, lol. But what? The, is something outrageous here? I don't... Is it... What? Should I buy a house or a link to a picture of a pixelated monkey? Houses are often more of a liability than- Are you gonna tell me that property ownership is a higher liability than like an NFT pump and dump scheme? Do you know what liability is? At Taco Bell, am I pretty? Taco Bell, <laughs> not one bit. The hashtag watermelon freeze is back. <laughs> He just burned someone so hard on Twitter and just advertised watermelon freeze. No, oh, you ugly. Here's some watermelon freeze. God damn it, Taco Bell. Damn it. Tamed P word. A woman in love turns her P towards her man. Her P belongs to him. She doesn't flaunt her P by facing it to the world. Tamed P. Tamed P. Yeah, you see that? You know those random pictures where you stand and like semi-hug your partner and depending on where you're standing and like how you happen to position your legs, you kind of angle or a bit forward or whatever direction the camera is taking. That is now a underlying socio-lomical phenomenon that means you're a tamed person. Oh god. This is like those super alpha chad things online where it's like, if you blink four times while looking at a girl, that means you're a beta. But if you only blink three times, that means you're intense and she will fall for you. Uh, fo follow me for more tricks I pulled out of my butt today. <laughs> Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here because I didn't get much enjoyment from these posts. Oh, dear God. I hope to see you in the very near future. Take care, you amazing beans. Mwah.